Hello guys, hope you and your families are doing well. Jack Corsalis here, welcome to the weekly IBD50 video where I take you through stocks in the IBD50 list I think are displaying constructive basing action, cup and handle, VCPs, flags, Darvis boxes, all of that good stuff. They take the can slim criteria, at least some of them, and are, and are showing impressive relative strength. Market Smith, a today's video sponsor. There's a discounted trial available in the comments below if you are interested. Let's get into it. I've got 11 to be showing you. The first one here is ticket AXON. So you've got three high quality, <coughs> three high quality Griffins, all of which have it. <laughs> have increased and or initiated a position in the most recently reported quarter gap up on the earnings albeit the earnings were down sales were up margins up from the prior quarter so it's interesting that on the face of it you have earnings down but there's obviously a positive reaction you've got follow through buying there's a shakeout to Martel nearly perfectly bouncing off the 21 EMA strong close on the most recent candlestick can it just go sideways a little bit potentially create a low a low pivot wing stop which is the restaurant related company. So similar to similar to Axon that you can see positive reaction to the most recent earnings report. Shakeout recently underneath the 21 EMA. Now can this create a lower pivot around 100, 165? Continuing, continue to build these structural high lows and just tighten up in there. I think that's interesting. Estimates for guidance look good. Oil and gas stocks, there's still some coming up coming up on my radar. You can see with APA here that there's potentially a big cup and handle. And this is not the only oil and gas stock building a potential cup and handle. A couple of shakeouts underneath the 21 EMA followed by strong recoveries so potentially setting up a low a low pivot in the high $40 around $47 $48 something like that volumes drying up triple digit earnings coming through high sales margins look pretty good as well fund ownership growing breakout year with the earnings per share estimates you're seeing this a lot of oil and gas stocks basically going from earning nothing to losing money to suddenly earning $8 $9 a share relative to prior years that is a big breakout year with the earnings per share it has a history of being able to trend okay as well oil and gas stocks can be can be difficult so I'd be looking at those previous breakouts and seeing whether it's a clean mover or not NFE I think is interesting so you can see the structural high lows that are forming here. So it's got that VCP action, structural high lows, potentially setting up a low pivot around $50, $51. You've got clustering of key moving averages being the 10, 21, and 50. SMA, so just looking for what I call a perfect trigger bar. If you don't know what a trigger bar is, it's covered in loads of other videos on the channel. Two high quality growth funds, one of which has been initiating a position and then adding in the two subsequent quarters as well. Very high earnings coming through, very high sales coming through. You can see the breakout year here for the earnings per share. You can see losing money, losing money, losing money, 2000 2021 they're making 47 cents a share then in 2022 up to two dollars a share 2023 estimates five dollars eight five dollars 38 a share so really big estimates coming in with the guidance as well stock has a history of being able to trend fairly well as well from from base breakout so that's one on my radar for a low for a low pivot cprx this is a biomed biotech related stock which again is a very strong area of the market healthcare biotechs i think are interesting ibb on the monthly chart potentially a big cup and handle forming there has a history of being able to trend pretty well from the from these base breakouts which is always good there was a low pivot that formed in here see how the volume dries up very good earning sales margins as well so the stock is currently wedging up so what i'm actually looking for this week is can it just tighten up on the 10 may preferably the 21 catches up as well but that's a strong stock keeping an eye on Harmony Biosciences. So again, another another strong healthcare biotech related stock. Potential cup and handle forming in here. Nice shakeout in the handle. I like to see this in the handle. See how you get that perfect shakeout underneath the 1021 EMA, then a really strong recovery. Now pushing back up, volume dried up in there. Earnings triple digits, most recent quarter. Sales plus 45% margins accelerating as well relative to prior quarters. High quality growth fund initiating a position in Q3 of 2022. So can it just tighten up around $60, marginally wedging up there? So if this can just go sideways a little bit more, preferably trigger bar on the 1021 EMA. But that there looks, it looks interesting. Strong area of the market, GWW. Similar in terms of the setup potential cup and handle nice shakeout happening a couple of sessions ago around six hundred dollars in the low low six hundred dollars area just watching and waiting for it to go sideways put in that perfect trigger bar but constructive constructive basing action good estimates fidelity initiating a position in q3 of 2022 and phase energy the stock that i'm already uh, already long breaking out really nicely i still think solar looks extremely extremely strong fidelity have been increasing their position in the two most recently reported quarters big bases on the weekly chart on the monthly chart as well looks like a very very strong stock this one and also celsius this wasn't on the list but i'll cover it celsius as well non-alcoholic beverage related company big old cup and handle look at the rs lines three high quality growth funds initiating positions i think uh, i think celsius and emphase energy look very very interesting so emphase energy long this one base breakout if it if it can uh, free roll this one as well but this is one where i may be looking to add back add back to my position and go kind of overweight in the stock but breaking out on Friday last week from this uh, from this cup and handle. See, I was breaking out, breaking out through there. I had a lower pivot entry in here, but really strong, triple digit earnings, high sales, margins, all of that, all of that good stuff. 
uh, on semiconductor. This one's interesting. So you've got three high quality growth funds, two of which have been increasing their positions recently. It's a little bit choppy at the minute, but you can see this cup and handle. You can potentially see a larger basing action as well. So just watching away, it's on my radar, potentially a low, pe low pivot forms around the 1021 EMA, but just watching and waiting for this one, this one to tighten up in the low, in the low 70s or something like that. But I think it looks strong. Obviously under accumulation, you can see that. <clears throat> With the fund ownership growing, you can see that with the higher quality growth funds increasing their positions. Two others, EXLS, potential cup and handle, needs a little bit more work in the handle, this one. It's slightly wedging up, so if this can just go sideways, a few more sessions, a few more weeks, something like that on the uh, on the 1021 EMA, I think that there looks interesting. You've got two higher quality growth funds initiating positions in recent quarters, which I think is interesting. Steady Eddie with the earnings per share with the estimates increasing for the next couple of years cf this is an ag stock high earnings high sales fidelity in there initiated in q2 of 2022 added in, sorry added, initiated in q1 of 2022 added in q2 added in q3 as well potential pivot forming around 100 <coughs> excuse me 110 you can see the vcp action going on here as uh, as well so just watching and waiting for this one to tighten up clustering around the uh, or consolidating around a clustering of key moving averages in the 10 EMA, 21 EMA, and also the 50 SMA. So that's it, guys. There, guys, I will wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching. If there's stocks that you're watching, then please do please do comment them down below. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.